What is going on? Good morning. BJJ report. Oh uh, man, what is going on? I, so we come out of uh, BJJ Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, still wearing the gi on my way home, uh, and and uh, we're headed in to Easter weekend. And what what does that mean to you? I I still remember so many different so many different things as a child growing up in Easter, and uh, we were listening to the boys too uh, this weekend as they are looking forward to trying to catch the Easter Bunny. Why are you always... It's funny, you're always trying to catch that mythical creature. Do you think that... Do you think that maybe our desire to chase uh, the quote-unquote impossible desire to chase this, this dream-like thing or substance comes from the initial offering of, of something mythical anyways? The Easter Bunny... Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, and all, all of these things that as we grow up as children uh, we're told exist and, and initially we are set, we are taught to go chase after this mythical this mythical creature. Uh, got Elf on the Shelf now. Um, <laughs> now even, even during St. Patrick's Day the children are expecting to catch the leprechaun or leprechaun should be leaving like a pile of gold chocolate coins and uh, that sort of thing are we raised to chase after something mythical or something that doesn't exist uh, and, and is that kind of what gives us the inspiration as, as we get older these are thoughts I think as I leave South Jersey Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and as we head into Easter weekend and you know, even even after you're older, I don't want to say that the, the Easter Bunny does not exist. I would never say that he doesn't. I would never say that Santa Claus doesn't exist. I would never say that uh, any of these guys don't exist. However, there's, there comes a point, at least there came a point in my life, where it wasn't simply the Easter basket that we discussed. It wasn't, uh, and we didn't go to church growing up. Uh, <laughs> religiously we didn't go to church often or if we did we we call what they call them uh, like everybody else says a cnd c and e and that's uh christmas and easter uh churchgoers that doesn't mean that um i never took any uh knowledge from you know what was the reason uh, uh for the season what was the reason for the season and I still, vividly, as if it was yesterday, still sitting at my grandparents' house and my mom's like, hey, you know, you know, going on about how, um, you know, Jesus resurrected and how, uh, you know, what was the season more about? It was more about the, you know, this resurrection, more about uh, kind of what happened during that, during that period and how, you know, that was the lesson that one Easter that and it still sticks with me, just like it was yesterday and the smells as, <laughs> as we're in the Northeast and, New Jersey and the weather is just right that it's just all reminding me so much of how some of my Easter's were and I you know it's the perfect weather for uh, the Easter weekend just slightly humid uh, it's probably be in the in the low 70s uh, 60s this weekend but it all brings back memories of all those different Easter seasons and lessons and that's what is uh, striking me as I come out of a uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and some of the some of the takeaways literally from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu today is really nice. Uh, one of the things and, and you guys have seen it recently is that it's highly recommended that you take some notes as you're leaving Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so that you can yeah you know, and, and probably most places that you leave take a couple notes about where you just were and let uh, write down the lessons that you went through today. You know, we, we did um, we did some drills, which I, you know, thank Professor, not Professor, uh, he's not Professor yet, he's on his way, PJ, uh, I thanked him for doing the drills, the, uh, we go from armbar to umpalada to uh, triangle, and those are the transitions, and, um, you know, back to another arm, arm lock, and, you know, drilling those, and I just said, you know, thanks, I really appreciate that, that you, you do those drills, because I don't try them enough, or I haven't, I just haven't drilled them enough on my own. So I appreciate the time that, that he takes to do those. And then we also we practiced a, um, 
a hip escape from being in mount position. But I come out to the car and I'll write these things down because I was told to do that when I first started uh, over a year ago and I realized that I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't getting the traction, something wasn't sinking in. I'm sure we've all been there where like you go somewhere and you're, you're just, I mean, just remember algebra. I mean, that was it for me, right? Or, or any time that you have to learn a new formula when you're uh, taking some of those statistics, right? I mean, what's the radius of, uh, of a um, circle and, and getting that, using pi, you're like, what do you mean? I don't get it. So sometimes it takes a little bit to sink in and I was getting to that point where things just weren't simply sinking in and of course, you know, if things aren't working, you Google, you know, how do I get better? You know, where, how can I make improvements? I feel like I'm plateauing in a certain spot and what had happened is, what was recommended was to, uh, you know, really <laughs> actually study more, take notes, just like any class that you take, take the notes. What did you learn from that lesson? Put it into your own words. What can you recall after you're out of that class? It's not necessarily the notes that you're sitting up there. Your teacher's doing like, you know, the, the PowerPoints and telling you which ones are important to take the notes while your eyes are glazing over and they're drying out. All you want to do is fall asleep because that's what it's making you feel like. There's no engagement in that. Whereas, uh, you know, jujitsu, I don't have the time to take some notes while we're, we're, we're rolling. But when we're done, I can come out to the car and I can take some notes and I can jot them down. And uh, so, again, I appreciate, you know, PJ getting in there and getting extra pointers from all the guys in there. And then really, as you leave, you say thank you to everybody for, for participating and making that class better. I don't recall, just, just out of the side note, I don't recall ever doing that in a college class and, you know, developing that kind of uh, kinship, that kind of friendship and that kind of like, you know, literal camaraderie where you leave uh, and, and you say, you know, thanks for being here today because because you were here today, uh, I learned this, you know, uh, from from being able to interact with you or, you know, those, those are the types of things. And you say thank you. You're like, man, really, I, I'm, I mean, I'll see you this weekend, you know, coming in and having another class. So I want you to have, I really do wish you a happy Easter weekend, right? So here we are. Those are all the all the things that, that are kind of coming out of, of um, the BJJ report this morning. I'm looking forward to spending some time with my, uh, you know, my family, uh, Easter basket with the kids. I don't think they're ready for the whole, you know, Jesus thing. I mean, I'm sure they are, but it's just a, you know, powerful message that it's not just about, uh, not just about the Easter bunny and all these mythical creatures that we chase. And, and is that the setting for our lives? Who knows? But it's it's fun. To, it's fun to think about. It's fun to talk about. Uh, outside of that, guys, again, even if you don't celebrate, I hope you're having a, a wonderful weekend wherever you're at. And you know, maybe next class you're in, right? What's maybe the next class you're in? Say thanks to the people that are there because maybe they're the ones asking the questions that you're not willing to ask to answer the give you the answers, or maybe they they're the ones who who are um, you know really helping the, the class progress. Uh, and instead of instead of getting upset, and this was you know, the classic is is we get upset if the person asks some more questions because we all just want to leave, right? Don't ask another question. Please don't ask another question. Oh, my God, right? I don't know if you ever remember that. And maybe that wasn't you. Maybe that was just me. I had, I sing a different tune now. Uh, again, just simply because of, of what I've gone through. And I have jujitsu. Thank for that, right? I have um, those thought processes because of, of, of you know, going through jujitsu. So if you're in a class... Thank that person that asked the question that uh, you had been thinking, but you wanted to leave the class, uh, but now you actually know the answer to your questions. You know, thank that, that person. Anyways, guys, that's it. Talk to you later.